Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is Donna from Tarot Tarot. On a quick read for you, we're going to go over your money, your career, your love life, do a general spread. At the end, we will do the all signs if you're dealing with an Aries, if you're dealing with a Taurus, if you're dealing with a Gemini, etc. If any card repeats, I will point that out in case that's something you need to hear. If any sign repeats, I will point that out in case it's confirmation of somebody you came here to hear about. If you like it, if it resonates, feel free to hit the like button, comment, share, whatever makes you happy. I'm not doing a pre-shuffle. By the way, there's playlists for every sign. So if this doesn't hit, um, check out one of the other sign placements or check out your playlist. Um, I think that's it. There's also a um, playlist for uh, tarot, what is it, uh, deck readings, or yeah, deck reviews. Wow. The rain, it's raining like crazy outside. It's like fogging up my noggin. Um, all right, so let's just get right into it. So your money portion, we're going to use the, um, the Modern Witch Tarot. Um, hopefully you all don't have anything to do with the courts right now or have to go to court for anything because of finances. I just saw the um, the justice card on the bottom of the deck, and it could come in very quickly and unexpectedly. <laughs> oh, and it's for somebody out there. Might have something to, do, something to do with a motorcycle. I don't know who that is, but anyway. All right, so let's see what's going on. Um, um, <laughs> it's so it's so funny because this is supposed to represent your present, and look at this. What is this person on? A motorcycle. <laughs> um, obviously, that's not going to apply to everybody, but it's, it's funny that it happened. Um, mm, okay, so overall, Pisces folks are trying to hold on to their money. Look at this. You're trying to be uh, frugal. Well, good luck with that because right now in our current economy, it's not easy. Um, so what is with the Page of Cups? Boredom. <laughs> Boredom, um, rejecting. So if somebody is offering help, are you rejecting them? Could be. Um, you have decisions to make. You're at a crossroads. Two of Wands. Um, you are focused on moving forward financially um, and gaining control over things. Um, opposing forces, you know, because it shows you. Notice how the two um, Sphinx are the two different colors. So it's like you know trying to gain um, control over opposing forces and and have things move forward. Um, chapters are closing, financial chapters. I think it's this big stuff, though. but you know what? Luck is on your side. And again, why not? Because traditionally, Pisces was ruled by the, the planet of luck, Jupiter. Um, modern astrologers, a lot of them use Neptune. I still don't, as a, I'm, I've been an astrologer since 2003, and I don't see Neptune ruling Pisces. I see it as an advisor to Jupiter ruling Pisces. Um, it gives it that extra flavor of um, dreaminess, but you all still always show, seem to have luck on your side. So I definitely see Jupiter having a, um, and plus, you know, Pisces folks a lot of times deal with weight issues um, more so than other signs. Like, you know, a lot of times Virgo or Aquarius may not sometimes do, but certain signs are kind of predisposed to weight issues or have a harder time with it. And don't get me wrong, I know a, a Virgo who is tall, and most Virgos are short and thin. Um, he is tall and battles weight issues. He probably is either Pisces rising, Sagittarius rising, or has uh, Jupiter conjunct his ascendant or his sun. That would alter that little astro uh, tidbit there for you. All right, so in the future, um, you may be making your money um, possibly remotely. You may be working from home. So that might be how you make your money. And you, or you might be using your intuition to make money in the future. Look at the high priestess. You know, you got the shower curtain in the backdrop on the laptop working. So maybe just working remotely, making your money that way. All right, so let's look at your uh, career reading. Yeah, I think a lot of you all may be focusing on using your intuition in some way or just paying attention to your intuition when it comes to like your money and your career. Either you're using them in your money and career or you're using them to help guide you. I don't know, some, someone might be a tarot reader out there or astrologer, psychic, whatever. Um, <laughs> so as far as jobs go, you know what, I meant to move these up. I normally move them up. So let's see. Let's move these up. Huh. 
you might be um, ending jobs and walking away from them too. But um, you're trying to decide what you've got. Now, look, there's a Wheel of Fortune again. Wheel of Fortune um, represents, even though I would assume that it represents like um, Sagittarius energy, um, it has all the fixed signs on it. So it could be Sagittarius energy, but it also could be, um, you know, having to do with the, it's all about chapters ending, beginning and ending. So there's, wherever there's one door, what is it, closes, another opens. But the biggest thing is, in this case, it has to do with cycles of life and how luck is on your side. Look at this. It even shows poker chips. That's funny as crap. So hopefully you don't have a gambling addiction, but look at this. It's showing poker chips. So it just shows, to me, luck is, you know, has been on your side. Um, in the past, you try to decide whether or not a job was worth it. Um, and you're kind of bored right now with what you do. So you may be putting an end to it or greatly transforming it. Um, or choosing to, I think this is, you know what, a lot of you all, even though this suggests an ending, this suggests you ending and just kind of walking away from things, and the Death card definitely suggests endings, but look at this. The, the Nine of Wands is all about staying in the fight, being battle-worn and weary, but staying in the fight. So are you just greatly transforming it because you feel like a shell of yourself, like you're not even there? feel like you're phoning it in with your job? And let's look at your love with the Runic Tarot. A lot of you all have gone through a big heartbreak. You may still be healing from that. Listen to that rain. I don't know if most people find the rain very relaxing. I found um, channels that I can listen to the rain so I can drift off to sleep um, instead of using wine to get to sleep. <laughs> but um, yeah, the rain is very relaxing. Um, things up in the air. Hopefully not dealing with the juggler. And that was in the past, though. Um, and the, so things were up in the air. Possibly there was juggling going on in the past. Um, even though I think you felt like you, you found the um, the man or woman or person of your dreams. Um, right now there's a, a spirit of being impulsive and just kind of going after. Yeah, just going after what you want. Now, some of you, oh, okay, in the future, I think it's going to be a sex thing. Yeah, you're going to take a break. Because you're feeling impulsive. Like, you're feeling like you want to see what's out there, who or what's out there. So I think in the past, you know, things were up in there. You might have dealt with a juggler um, who you thought was wish fulfillment. That was like your, you know, your dream, your happily ever after. So now you're just kind of like... You're looking to see what's out there. You're, you know, feeling impulsive. Um, hope, well, some of you may have a children from this, you know, previous relationship, or you're focused on maybe just wanting children. Um, but be careful with that. You know, if you're just wanting children and you're single, examine your reasons for why you want them. In the future, sex thing coming in, and you're taking a break from relationships so you might might i'm not judging anybody but you some of you all might decide to do a friends with benefits thing just be careful if, if you do that it doesn't result in an unwanted extra mini you all right if that's you know possible due to your relationship choices so let's do the a lot of y'all feel stuck in life just stuck like you don't know what to do just stuck so let's see, overall, what is going on. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> Literally the fastest ever. Uh, let's see. Is that self-love or offering love? <laughs> you can't decide. You can't decide if you want to share your love with somebody or just keep it to yourself and focus on your own self-healing. Um, you're focused on work. Um, and being single, possibly being your own boss. Um, so right now you're focused on, a lot of y'all are focused on being single. Um, you may choose to be your own boss in some way. Um, things are going to be up in the air. Hopefully you're not being juggled or being, oh Jesus. So whatever unhealthy habits or addictions you or someone else has, there, somebody needs to focus on it and fix it. I don't know if it's 
drugs, alcohol, gambling, porn, codependency, social media addiction, who knows, or, or even just watching terror videos, like, endlessly, I, I don't know, but whatever it is, there's some kind of unhealthy habit or addiction you got going on, so you or somebody else close to you, that's either you or the person that you're, like, you're thinking of right, right now, right now, that, that one right now, it's either you or them. So, let's see, if you're dealing with, ooh, you, some of you all gotta, you're, oh, you're being kind of cold to people, you're like not letting people get away with anything, you're telling people what time it is. All right, if you're dealing with an Aries, oh, they do love you, but at the same time, there's that Queen of Swords that I just saw on the bottom. Um, so wait, is that you being cold to them or them being cold to you? you being cold to them so they may love you but you're going to be kind of um chilly to them <laughs> you're going to be like uh i'm not going to tolerate any bullcrap from you taurus um they want to make things happen at the same time they feel like it may need to end they may want to like just get out there and see what else is out there uh gemini is horny but they take forever to invest cancer feels like your soulmates and they want to reconnect they're going through your text messages and um, pictures and all that and going down memory lane. Leo, you make them really happy um, and they at the same time it's Leo, man. Does a Leo have something in Libra because you make them happy but they feel stabbed in the back and betrayed? Did they hurt the did they break their own heart? What happened? Yeah. Maybe they ended things? I don't know. It makes no sense. Are they mentally unstable? Yeah, they may be stuck in life. So, um, two, three, four. The Leo um, may have some issues in the noggin. They may have um, depression or anxiety or something that needs to be addressed. Um, Virgo feels burdened and defensive. Libra, um, they're waiting on you. They want to. They're focused on making money too, but they may want to offer you something, give you a gift or something. Um, Scorpio, you, you're you make them happy. You are actually um, their wish. Um, and they're stressing out over this. They're all up in their head about it. Sagittarius has secrets, there's the fears, and they're gonna come rushing in. Maybe they're afraid of you getting away from them. <laughs> they're afraid of you um, having a good life, possibly with somebody else. Okay, Capricorn, got lost that for a second. Capricorn, um, they're ignoring you, um, and at the same time, they're focused on Luke. Oh, Capricorn is focused on you, though and try to be patient. Aquarius likes to argue and they're focused on their coin. And Pisces um, wants to work to get, wants to work with you um, and move on from whatever this is. They want to move on from whatever, you know, I don't know, is it third party stuff? If it is, it's, it's karmic. Um, somebody that maybe they've known for a long time, they have like a lot of um, history with, but Whoever or whatever you're like dealing with or trying to deal with or have dealt with, there's a lot of holding back. I don't know if it's you, them, both of you, but there's a lot of holding back going on. All right, Pisces. Thank you. Love you. And I will see you all in the next one.